Where did you say this place was? Pickering? Pickering, Ontario? Never heard of it. Anywhere close by? Toronto, oh yes, okay, I have a suffragette sister I write to in Toronto. Yes, yes. Busy place. How do you cross the street? That's a lovely building. That's City Hall, and there's a council meeting going on right now. I'd love to go to the council meeting. Yes, just what the doctors ordered, eh, Doctor Who? Doctor Who? I don't see any women. Doctor Who? Where's the women? There's no women on Pickering Council? What's the point? Why am I here? There's no women on Council? Oh my God, this is terrible. Oh, do you know what the suffragettes I'm going through? What I have gone through? And there's no women on Council? Oh, I need a breath. I've got to get out of here. Dr. Gilchrist, Dr. Gilchrist, are you all right? Of course I'm not all right. Oh my goodness. Not, not a serial, single woman on council. All that work, it went for naught. I lost his teeth. I went to prison. I was beaten by the loss of my dear friend, Emily Davison. All for naught. Oh my God, I am crushed. How did it get like this, Doctor Who? Actually, Dr. Gilchrist, it seems to be more of the women that aren't interested in getting involved in politics in Canada, and especially in Ontario. In Ontario, women represent, elected women are 22% of the elected officials across the province. They do not seem to be very interested, and frankly, I don't think some of them vote. This is so black. The future just looks so black. Do you know the suffragette movement? The suffragette movement is one of strength and vision and purpose. A single purpose to get women the vote. And this has happened a hundred years ahead. Oh my. See these colours? These are the suffragette colours. This is white for purity. This is green. Green is for prosperity. This is purple. Purple is for fertility and hope for the future. And right now, I don't see too much hope here. Oh my. See this chain on my ankle? See this chain on my ankle? That's no coming off that chain. I put that chain around the fence at 10 Downing Street, where the Prime Minister of the Great Britain lives. Howard Henry Asquith. We were demonstrating. For the third time, the bill had come before Parliament and it has defeated. Deeds, not words, was our cry. Deeds, not words. We were fed up being patronised by the elected officials, those MPs. There, there, dear. We need the vote now. Deeds, not words. Well, the police came to break up the demonstration and with a billy stick, he came and smashed this chain between me and the fence and it's no coming off. This chain is going with me to the grave it is. I, this will be buried with me. Oh my God, I feel like, I feel like I want to die. I am crushed. Is there any hope, Doctor Who?
Dr. Gilchrist, there is going to be a municipal election in October of this year. There are 3,000 seats up for election. Currently, we have 700 women sitting in those seats. We need a visible mass of women to have an effective working government. Zero is not acceptable. One woman is a token. Yes, we have, what do you say? We have, we have a woman. Two women. Oh, so nice. So aesthetically pleasing. Matchy, matchy, cute as a button. Three women is a start. To have real change, we need four women on council. Women represent 51% of the population. It is a true team effort when you have a government that reflects the community it represents. Thank you very much.